Enjoy your viewing. It will be a non-standard story. A neatly dressed man is limping somewhere in a crowd of people. Oh, my god, ka. The next moment, the man abruptly falls to his knees, holding his stomach. Ga. Suddenly, the man became so ill that he began to spit out blood. This will be a non-standard story in which zombies appeared. Several people from the crowd stopped and looked at the man. A girl and a guy began to approach a man who was sitting on his knees and holding his stomach. The girl asks the man, excuse me, are you okay? To which her boyfriend offers to just pass by. The girl agrees, but suddenly the man who was ill a couple of seconds ago raises his head and looks at the lovers. His face was covered in blood, he had fangs and a red eye with a dark shell. A tear was running down his cheek. The next moment, suddenly, a zombie attacks the guy and bites him right in the left shoulder. The guy falls, and the girl next to him did not even have time to understand anything that happened in front of her eyes. This will be a non-standard story in which zombies appeared. Throwing themselves at all people in a row. A new notification arrives on the bloody phone, an emergency message from the media. A distress message. Central Headquarters for Security and Disaster Management. A new epidemic of the distraught is spreading rapidly through the city. Refrain from going outside and contacting other people. Below were notifications about the release of new chapters of the Manwa. Someone's shoe is stepping on a bloody phone with disaster notifications. At this moment, the phone flies up and cracks from the shoe of a running man, three people ran away and panicked towards cars. The global infection occurred so quickly that zombies already outnumbered people on the roadway. They're coming. Save yourself. People in the crowd were shouting. People everywhere were fleeing, and the next moment people with backpacks with fear on their faces were fleeing from zombies with great speed. Zombies from behind very quickly overtook them, but the rays of light blew up their heads. People fled to a shelter built by the government. A moment later, people ran up to a huge wall of shipping containers. On top of these containers were huge searchlights, and on the edges just the sources of rays. Behind a huge wall in the middle of Busan. Behind the huge containers, there were a lot of tents and control towers to monitor the territory. It was nicknamed the Second Blockade. However, there was a problem. It is impossible to put all people behind a wall. What will the government do? What can they do if the number of zombies has already reached 30 million? Zombies began to climb on top of each other, building a huge wall that was rising higher and higher with every second, like in the movie The Walking Dead. The proposed residential area of Busan refugees, Hendy Camp. There are a lot of tents lined up near the shore. However, if people are together, it does not mean that they will all be friends peacefully. People are fighting among themselves. These are my food supplies, you beast. That bitch. Give it back. Shouts can be heard around the tents. The man takes the bag from the child, the child falls to the ground. Ah. You'll manage. A man with a bag in his hands shouts. Chaos will begin among people, because everyone will want to survive. The next moment, a baton hits the man in the back of the head, and he opens his mouth in shock. What? A soldier in a skull with a shield in his left hand stuns the intruder, behind the soldier there is another army of the same as him. Everyone is panicking. The masked soldier speaks. Man, behave yourself. Obviously it makes him very angry that everyone is wreaking havoc. He points his baton at the crowd of raging people and says. Calm everyone down. The soldiers began to act and beat people. Huge three skyscrapers and several smaller apartment buildings, and in the foreground soldiers are beating people near the fence. Aristocrats are just people who are connected with the government, quietly drink in a luxurious hall. Will the government continue to treat the people like rats? In general, nothing unusual. The real problem is that. Zombies will take over the world. According to analytics, in a short time, the anomaly surge exceeded all charts. A huge outbreak from one region. Because of the frenzied demand of people flocking to the city. People have started throwing money around, the crowd is delighted, and inflation is rising. Prices for everything have increased a hundred times. 50,000 banknotes are flying around the sign, and there is an inscription on the sign. For sale. Hound. Central Palace, 32 pieces. 1201 billion. And the number of houses decreased by 47,000. For sale. Soman. Apartments, 24 pieces. 235 billion. Even the monthly rent has become 30 times more expensive. For sale. Saison. Detached villa, 14 pieces. 1352 billion. Those who did not have money for their house were not thrown over the wall to the zombies. A huge number of zombies flooded the street, destroyed buildings around, 
The consequences of fires are clearly visible. They stayed inside the walls but spent the night on the streets, suffering and freezing from cold and hunger. It was snowing, poor people barely survived these times. A living hell has begun. Two people were warming themselves near a barrel of red-hot firewood. People were sleeping around them, someone was even without shoes. The main character of this story. Cheol Su Kim, 23 years old. Unemployed. A man standing near a barrel in a shirt and with long hair pulled into a ponytail. Became homeless. What are you staring at? I said angrily. The first time I saw a homeless person? Let's be honest, some of those who read this mantra also do not have a specific place of residence. On one of the sheets it was written. Purchase and sale. Yard. Private house. 395 billion. This leaflet was hanging a few meters away from me while I was warming myself by the fire. The main character of the whole story. Is a loser without a home. That is me. I continued to stand and look around, because at the current time, anyone can be your enemy. Morning, afternoon, evening. I work 24 by 7. And received only 450 million won. To collect 395 billion won, receiving 450 million a month, you cannot spend a penny. A lot of money suddenly appeared in front of me. This is exactly the kind of pile I need to collect to buy my home. So far, there are only 731 million. All this was in my head while I continued to stand by the fire, with my hair disheveled. Based on the amounts of how much the house costs now, it will not be possible to buy even the cheapest. I sighed heavily. After that, with confidence, he took off his jacket, looking ahead. There's only one way left. I admit, the idea is crap. I spoke, looking at the banner with an advertisement in front of me, on which it was written. The whole world is waiting for you. Win a huge villa. Register on the website. Everyone who is watching the broadcast right now. The voice from the advertisement broadcast and continued. Are you starving? Tired of being homeless? Tired of the noise of zombies on the streets of the city? Hate your life? Only now, and only for you. The villa is from Will. We kill and have fun with you. Forward to the money. The more zombies are killed, the more money is received. 500 million won per head, it remains only to bring proof. Go outside the wall, kill the zombies and the money is yours. Is it possible to miss such a chance to improve your life? Soon. I have come to submit my application for participation. Besides me, there were a lot of people who wanted to. After all, at the current time it is difficult to find a good job, and you need to cling to life. It's finally my turn to go to the front desk. Your money for participating in the show. They told me and held out their hand. The man sitting in front of me took the envelope with the money. Then he began to count them. 105, 110, 115, 120. 120 million. He finally finished while I was looking around the neighborhood. The next moment I was handed a boarding pass. Keep your train ticket for the special operation. Landing pad number 3. They told me. I immediately took the ticket and started walking away from the counter, thinking. 120 million for one ticket there. I stole shovels from my last job. I squeezed the ticket hard, realizing that this was my only chance to change my job. It remains to kill the zombies. I decided, standing already at the train, after which I remembered. And you need to bring proof. Then become the owner of the house. And live for your own pleasure. I kept walking along the platform, lost in my thoughts. Suddenly, due to the fact that I wasn't paying much attention to what was happening around, I accidentally pushed a person. With that, I pushed him so hard that he just fell. A bunch of arrows fell to the ground, which were in this man's quiver. Oh. I'm sorry. Why does it hurt so much? It turned out to be a girl and starting to get up, she prettily apologized. Ha, look at this. Suddenly a man screamed, which attracted the attention of the others, while he began to steal the girl's arrows. Hey. Don't touch, not yours. She tried to call a man to his conscience. Ha ha. Are you going to kill zombies with some old arrows? Laughing at the whole station, the man spoke. The girl quickly got to her feet and threw at the man, trying to take her rightfully, while screaming. Are you normal? Yes, with arrows. What else do you think I should kill them with? Give away. At the end, she screamed, when suddenly a man grabbed her by the hair. Holding her with all his strength, he began to tell her. Zombies will die of laughter when they see such arrows. Take he and go home. Oh, yeah. You don't have a home. The man finished talking and started dragging the girl behind him, who was trying to break out of the grip, and also shouting for him to let her go. 
The man, by the way, had a crossbow. A terrifying weapon. Suddenly, someone intercepted the man's hand. It was me. I grabbed the impudent man by the hand with which he was holding the girl. Who else are you? Have you lost your fear? He told me, while his cheekbones stood out so much that they almost tore the skin. It was obvious that he was angry because of my actions. Let go of my hand. He finished, looking at my face. The next moment, I did so, just let go of his hand. That's it. Did you believe in yourself? He said, already laughing more than angry. Literally in a moment, my hand slid over the man's face. I hit him with my palm. He slapped me in the face. The blow was so strong that the man's face deformed and sent a wave. The impudent man flew into the floor with all his might, and I continued to stand in front of him, saying. Guys who target people, not zombies, always annoy me, because I can't focus only on killing zombies. I want to kill guys like that too. My lips moved angrily as I returned my hand to the place where the veins stood out. The girl was surprised by my actions and at first could not gather herself to say something. Beads of sweat stood out on her face, and her eyes whitened. Thank you. He said when I started to inspect the man's inventory. Nothing like that, I myself was thinking about having at least one ranged weapon in stock. I couldn't buy it because it's expensive. I spoke calmly, already holding a crossbow in my hands. Um. The girl was surprised, again standing in a stupor, not knowing what to say. Suddenly, I noticed that the man got to his feet, looking at me, it was clear that he was asking for revenge. Why are you so noisy? Be quiet. A shout was heard from the tower where the military were. Stop watching everyone, you'll get tired soon. Go get some rest just in case they send us on a special operation. Calmed one military second. And while the one who was shouting paid attention to his colleague, I knocked the man out again and already started to get on the train, and the girl I saved ran after me. They are so happy that they will die soon. On this operation. The military man who asked his colleague to rest finished speaking. Finally, the train started moving. After a while, when it was already night, he arrived at the 17 infected zone. Pohang Station. The door began to open. A second later, the train door opened completely and a crowd of people appeared, ready for the extermination of zombies. Who knows how many of them will become zombies themselves today. Pohang Station? And where are all the zombies? People began to be indignant. Where are the soldiers? What should we do? Everyone continued to complain. I stood in place and was silent, holding in my hands a crossbow and arrows that I picked up from a man. True, the arrows were of a girl who was now trying to take them away. Attention attention. A voice began to be heard from a speaker that was standing on the train. Participants of the 17th infected zone. The column continued and finally drew attention to itself, prompting questions. What? A gramophone? Are they crazy? Aren't zombies sensitive to sounds? People were scared, but it didn't help, as the sound from the gramophone continued to reach the ears of everyone in the neighborhood. Thank you all for your good work. As you know, Busan is now in a difficult situation. The government came to the conclusion that it is necessary to get rid of part of the population so that everyone has enough food and shelter. Therefore. Suddenly, the next word of the gramophone became several times louder. All the people started plugging their ears so that their eardrums wouldn't burst. What's happening? The man complained and the next moment, his eyes widened. Busan will remember your sacrifices. The gramophone finished with all the volume when there were already a bunch of zombies around who ran to the loud sound. Then everything was simple. Hopelessness. Bitch. Turn off the chatterbox. What are you doing? Bastard. A man was shouting, knocking on the window of the train where the driver was sitting. Suddenly, the train's mount came loose. The next moment, the driver's car started moving and began to leave, which caused people around to panic. Wait. One of the men asked, running after the train, but falling. No. He began to cry hopelessly. Where are you going? That was his last question, as one of the zombies was already a second away from devouring this man. So the first death followed. Save me. Save me. The man who tried to crawl into the train car was screaming, while others who were already inside were trying to close the door. Dump him back out. I'll close the door. The man with the potty hairstyle was talking. Suddenly he turned his attention forward. Through the half-closed door, a zombie jumped into the train car. A living hell has begun. I was standing in another car with a girl and watched zombies eat people in droves. Keep it, but for rent, 10 one per second. I said, handing the crossbow to the girl, getting ready for battle. What? For rent? 
isn't it my weapon? She was indignant. 7901 per second. I changed my mind, which made the girl even more surprised, but I no longer listened to her questions, taking off my outerwear. I would be completely ready for battle and going outside, I started to get one of the shovels in my bag. My muscles were ready for anything, the shovel sparkled, it was maximally sharpened. Blood was spilled. All the zombies heard the sound of tearing flesh. My shovel was already stuck in the head of one of the zombies. I have to catch a lot of zombies today. I said with confidence, making a battle plan in my head. My eyes were burning, I was all in anticipation. All the zombies in the neighborhood started running towards me. But there was nothing to worry about, the shovel was ready for anything. Literally every second she took off the head of one of the zombies. Still, there were too many of them and they continued to advance. I took hold of my baby with both hands to swing it harder. It worked and the next blow killed an entire crowd at once, leaving behind a red slash. But behind the crowd of dead zombies, another crowd appeared. I didn't stop and intercepted the shovel in order to strike with it the next moment, like a spear. Still, no matter how hard I tried to fight back and keep the zombies away from me, one still succeeded. After hitting him on the head and killing him, he still flew into my stomach and pushed me into the train car. A jet of blood flew out of my mouth from the blow. I was lying on the ground, from my body, a dent appeared on the train car. The girl was standing on the carriage at that moment. I passed out from the pain. The girl finally noticed my condition. Gradually my consciousness returned. Seeing his shovel in front of him, I immediately reached out to her. The next moment, I leaned on my baby and got to my feet, while my eyes shone with anger, and steam was coming out of my mouth. A crowd of at least 30 zombies was running towards me. The next moment, with my foot, I hit the first of this crowd, pushing everyone away. Roaring with all my might, I tuned in and he began to destroy everyone right and left. Literally in a few seconds, this whole huge crowd just fell to the floor, as it was no longer possible to exist in this world. It's hard to do that with a hole in your head, isn't it? When it became calm, the girl jumped off the train car. Lifting her head up, her face was illuminated by the sun, and it was clear how surprised she was. After all, there was a pile of dead people in front of her, on which I sat and watched the sunrise. During this whole night, I killed at least a thousand zombies. It's time to rest. I could hear myself breathing heavily. Looking at this picture, the girl asked at the same time a logical, but also a stupid question. Did he kill everyone? When I heard her, I said. Shut up. Help me count everyone. I have to carry everyone and get the money. The girl was not afraid of my tone. Why is money so important to you? Aren't you afraid to die? She asked. I want to buy a house. I answered briefly, continuing to recover my breath. The girl didn't have any more questions and she just kept looking at me. After killing a still alive zombie that ran up the mountain to devour me, I completed my phrase. With a huge yard, if possible. Suddenly, the scene where I'm sitting on a mountain of corpses appeared on the surveillance camera. Ministry of Defense, Group 3. Two men, one was sitting and the other was standing. They were looking at the surveillance camera, at me. What? Did he kill all the zombies in this part of the zone? The one who was standing asked, he was wearing a suit, and he had glasses on his head. Eight. Eight thousand zombies. How is this possible? The one who was sitting and was fatter was asked questions. Our main character realized his dream in just one part of the chapter of this manhwa, the fourth border zone of Busan, Gijang Gun. A huge number of containers that were never sent to people towered above the ground. There was a huge pile of dead zombies on the ground itself, no matter how absurd it sounded. The blood from the corpses was smeared everywhere. Two soldiers monitored the situation around and did it in turn. Most likely. Since one was sleeping with a gun in his arms, and the other was standing with binoculars. Sang buying Kim. Sang buying Kim. The one with the binoculars started shouting, apparently seeing something unusual. What? What are you yelling about? The sleeping soldier was quickly blown up, frightened. After all, now is the time that any anxiety may be the last in your life. There seemed to be 12 zombies there. The sentry with binoculars answered quickly. How much how much? The sleeping soldier did not believe a little, looking into the distance. Out. Four. No, three, two. His colleague started doing the countdown. Suddenly, Sang Buying Kim slapped his colleague on the back of the head. Idiot, I don't see any zombies there. Wake up already and go fuck yourself, you idiot piece. The man took the binoculars and began to inspect the situation around himself. 
Through binoculars, he saw two people dragging bags, and around them was a bunch of zombies in blood. Can zombies carry bags? These are definitely people, but most likely already infected. Contact a platoon commander and ask for permission to fire live ammunition. Although. Just a second. The man spoke, simultaneously giving the command and immediately interrupting himself. What kind of nonsense is this? He wondered when he saw them waving at him. The girl who was following me was waving her arms strongly and shouting. That's us. We are people, you hear. Don't shoot. I didn't care at all and I just went ahead. The picture that opened from the height of the bird's flight was amazing. There were a lot of zombie corpses, so many that it was hard to believe that someone could kill them. After a while, Reception of the Ministry of Defense. Office 23. I was sitting on a chair and stretching my neck because it was a fighting night. A man from the government was sitting in front of me, as well as two of his guards. There was a girl standing next to me, whom I met that night and was a little shy or afraid, who knows. So you single-handedly killed 8,021 zombies? Each head is 500 million one, as promised. The man in front of me was talking with a piece of paper in his hands, sweating a little from the experience, because it's too difficult to believe in this news. His guards were in exactly the same position. A briefcase appeared in front of me. It was opened by one of the guards, and there was a huge amount of money inside. 401,500 billion won. The defense minister said, pointing to the briefcase. My face didn't change, I expected it, but the girl was very surprised, not believing her eyes. I immediately decided to check if my eyes were lying to me and put my hand on the money, accepting reality. In exchange for a lump sum payment, please respect confidentiality and do not tell anyone where you got the money from. The man warned. Suddenly, a man in a suit came up to me and asked me to sign certain papers, and at this time, the man who took out the briefcase decided to tell the person sitting. Manager. Do we really have to give away such a large sum? But the man had no doubt, adjusting his glasses, he answered. If there were such conditions, then yes. We won't suffer a big loss. Now, what are we going to do with these zombie noses? He asked his colleague, looking at the bag next to me. Just throw it away. The man in the white shirt said. The next moment, the man in glasses, the manager, as he was called earlier, confidently stated. It's enough for us to make sure that he really killed so many zombies. I found a way to avoid paying taxes. He declared, making a serious face. I dipped my finger in the paint and signed the paper. And this kid will help us. The manager finished. The building of the Ministry of Defense towered above the ground, it was clear that it looked protected. A lot of architects worked on the construction, not to mention the black power. Me and the girl who kept up with me came out of this building. I had two briefcases in my hands and two more under my hands. I walked forward with a confident gait, looking forward to buying my own home. Stopping to rest for a while, I put the cases on the ground. Listen, where are you going now? The girl asked me, stopping next to me. I opened the case with the money in order to hold the money in my hands again and make sure that they are real and the next moment. This is for you, 3000 million won for your help. Now we're even. I said and threw a wad of money into the hands of the girl and she deftly caught them. Now you don't have to follow me around. I warned her because it was really annoying. I went forward again, and the girl remained standing in place. She was silent and looked at my back, deciding whether to tell her or not. Hey, if you buy a big house. Invite me to live there too. I'll give you a housewarming gift. She shouted after me. After a while. About 395 billion won. That's how much money I threw to a realtor to buy my own home. Finally, I bought a house with a small courtyard near Sosengu in Busan and was already standing in front of the gate, together with the old man who sold it to me. Here. This house is yours now. Smiling sweetly, the old man told me. I didn't respond to his words, keeping my face straight. The next moment, I reached for the door handle to open it. The door opened slightly, revealing green grass in the yard. I went inside and saw a beautiful house with a beautiful yard. The path was made of stone, which was surrounded by grass. The house would be two-storied with beautiful balconies and a satellite hung on the wall so that you could watch satellite television. Finally, as they say in the fairy tale, and he lived happily ever after. I stood on the threshold of the house and could not believe my luck. Sighing with relief. I went inside. That's the end of my story. During my next step, there was a needle under my foot where I had to step. Isn't the story too banal? Suddenly I noticed a pain in my leg. 
Lifting my leg, blood poured from my foot. But after looking at the needle on the floor, a question popped into my head. Black blood? Then, I began to remember everything that had happened before. Come to think of it, there was black blood back then too. But it flowed out of the zombies. And zombie blood can be too dangerous for humans. These. Bastards. Finally, I said, before seeing that my veins turned black and I clutched my head in pain. With every second, the pain was getting stronger and stronger, and the veins in my body were turning black more and more. Suddenly my eyes turned red and I howled in pain, realizing. They've thought it all out. Mom and Dad were separated on the way here. My brother thinks they're still alive. At the same time, a young man, namely my brother and a little boy who was eating, were sitting in the house and talking. Mom and Dad were separated on the way here. My brother thinks they're still alive. The boy continued to eat, looking at the man and listening to his dialogue. He's going to buy a house. The man said. What for? The boy asked. So that when they return, they can see a nameplate on the house. The man finished with a smile on his face. Then he got serious and finished. And they were able to find us. A man stopped near my house with the same manager who gave me the money. He had a megaphone in his hands. The next moment the camera moves away and we see not one car, but a huge number of black cars and police cars, as well as a crowd of people armed to the teeth, who are walking towards my house. Hey. If you can hear me, then slowly leave the house and raise your hands. The manager shouted into the megaphone, hoping that I would hear him. Or he's already infected. With a grin, he finished in his head. Suddenly, a fat man in a white shirt approached the manager, who put money on the table, then. Boss, is this right? Why do this, why it was impossible not to just give the money. And now we have not only lost a person who could kill all the zombies, but also added problems to ourselves. The manager immediately pulled himself together and began to respond. When rumors spread that survivors had been found in our operation. There is a chance that slashers can find them first. Who are slashers? The man asked when a crowd of policemen had already lined up to storm my house. And no one needs to know about this I'll kill him first, so come inside, guys. We'll get rid of him under Article 7, Paragraph 3. The infected person's property will be confiscated. He laughed openly, anticipating the success of the operation. Suddenly, the door opened and I came out of it. I didn't look like a real person anymore. Oh, the infection was successful. The manager was delighted to see me. Zombie. Poverty. Now the deception. Aye aye. Just wanted to. I tried to say, remembering my whole life, but I was interrupted for a while. What are you talking about, you zombie bastard? The manager was laughing through a megaphone, looking at me. I just wanted to buy a house. I shouted with all my might, continuing. Is it such an impossible dream that the whole world stops me? I want my family to live happily. And after these words, I moved from my seat and ran towards the crowd of policemen. Why are you picking on me? I almost cried on the way, ready to kill everyone. Aqua City. Hyundai. The sun was shining on a beautiful city with tall buildings. Judging by this view, there was a feeling that there was no zombie apocalypse. There was a beautiful room in front of us, and the sounds of water could be heard. There was a crossbow next to one of the doors. A girl with a strange hair color, more blonde, was washing in the shower. Suddenly there was a knock on her door and a voice carried. The general director, the customer came at 5.30. A dark-skinned girl with completely white hair was standing outside the door, listening to her boss's answer. Tell her to wait, I'll be there soon. Good. After a while, a dark-skinned girl came into the living room, where a man was sitting on a chair. He was all impatient, constantly fidgeting with his hand. The shower door opened. Steam from the hot water came from there. The beautiful leg of the girl stood on the bathroom floor. The man immediately paid attention to her. The girl, wrapping her beautiful body in a robe, went into the living room. Sorry to keep you waiting. She said. It was the same girl who, one might say, saved my life. Choi and Jang CEO Choi Jun. Have you booked a room? She asked and the dark-skinned girl immediately decided to warn the man. This is my Ho Yun. But the man was speechless. The girl sat down on a chair next to the man, continuing to talk. Hello, glad to see you. For what reason did you choose our company? She asked and the man finally decided to give voice. Oh, hmm. I heard that there is a company that can help with finding things. He said seriously. The girl laughed and started talking. Oh. You've come to the right place. There are people in our company who specialize in infected areas. 
We clean up zombie zones, restore them to a suitable life. Our company specializes in everything. I also manage slashers who catch zombies and search for things. While the director was talking, a dark-skinned girl brought a catalog and put it on the table in front of the man. He immediately picked it up and started flipping through it. Suddenly his eyes widened. He saw the prices that were written in the catalog. 51 billion won. 162 billion won. 782 billion won. The prices are too high. He said in his head, and the girl continued. The amount charged may vary depending on the size or position of the item you are looking for. For example, finding a safe weighing 200 kilograms in an infected area is much more expensive than finding an ordinary light handbag. The man immediately got down to business. As for the loan. I only have a hundred million won on my hands. The girl suddenly put the cup on the table and said in an angry tone. Secretary Pack. Are you wasting my time on pathetic beggars? The man immediately put his hands forward, trying to convince the girl. Wait, beggars? I can offer 500 million won if possible. Before the zombie apocalypse, I bought a few bitcoins on the stock exchange. The dollar and one have fallen, and bitcoin is getting more expensive. I can pay with them. I'll sell them and give you part of the proceeds, but you have to wait. The girl immediately smiled sweetly. Yes. It's good now. She said, and the man continued. However, hiring slashers is too expensive. Is there no cheaper? He asked. Cheaper? Ah. I can suggest some newcomer. We can ask him. The girl finished, which surprised the man. A beginner? He asked. The sun continued to illuminate the beautiful building. Seriously? Okay, thanks. The man spoke as he left the room with two girls, taking a business card with him. After he left, the dark-skinned girl immediately asked. Beginner. I've never heard of him. Did you meet him at a special operation, CEO? The director immediately replied. Yes. I found him interesting that day. It's time for me to go. Please prepare everything for my exit. Is Ha Sang Su suitable as a bodyguard? Recently, rumors about regular customers have spread. The mate answered immediately. Yes, we need to fix this problem. Ah, I suddenly remembered the director, then drew the attention of the dark-skinned girl to herself. Will you come to the housewarming party with me? She asked with a slight smile. I start screaming. I want to have my own house. Is it such an impossible dream that the whole world stops me, the guys in suits are very tense, I start running at them. This house is for my family. Why do you climb only to me? I shouted with tears in my eyes. You don't have to corner people. This was the only rule that was secretly spread between soldiers and politicians after the construction of the wall. It is impossible to predict what the rats will do if they are cornered. My eyes began to glow with a blue light. I attacked one soldier from the crowd, they were very scared around me and moved away. This, this is a zombie. One of the crowd shouted. The guy I attacked started fighting back with a stick. Lying on my back, I looked at him from above, he hit me right on the left hand. They've crossed a line a long time ago. I thought about it to myself and remembered. Oh, yeah. I'm infected. Looking at the guy who was lying down. I was at his neck in an instant. My eyes were burning white, I bit his neck. The guy was screaming in pain all over the street, and his colleagues just stood rooted to the spot. The next moment, he was shouting for his colleagues to take me off him. They started kicking me and tried to drag me away. Let go. Let him go. His colleague shouted, holding me by the t-shirt from behind, pulling me away from the soldier. Biting off a piece of the soldier, blood gushed out of his artery. A colleague still threw me a few meters closer to the terrace. Oh, shit. The soldier shouted angrily. Ah. The soldier shouted holding his shoulder. A fat man stood and looked at this picture, shouting. I asked. I asked specifically to infect him. A man in a suit and the loudspeaker nearby was talking. First, take off the infected creature's head. It's hard to deal with these zombies when they're intelligent. But, three minutes. You will be completely infected in three minutes. I was lying in blood on the terrace. Drive him into a corner before his mind disappears. The crowd of soldiers tensed. These guys, the man with the megaphone was getting angry. He started shouting to the soldiers. There are a dozen of you. Don't be afraid, go ahead. Don't you want to make money? The soldiers from these words were not very eager to do something. One of them hit the protective helmet and said. Money. I finally woke up and started to get up slowly. I said. Nobody. The soldiers tensed up very much and paid attention to me. Almost getting to my feet, I continued. 
No one can take him away. No one can take it away from me. The man with glasses was very surprised that I got up from everything and was still conscious. This is my home. My eye was glowing red, my mouth was covered in blood, steam was coming out of my mouth. Even though he is on the verge of turning into a zombie, the soldiers started running at me. But there is one problem. This man is a monster who has caught 8,000 zombies. I killed all the soldiers, and some of the soldiers have already turned into zombies. The man in the suit fell on his ass. The soldiers began to devour each other. The man crawled up to the black car, listening to the sounds of soldiers eating each other. The next moment, the man in the suit was looking at his fat colleague. He was wearing a zombie that was devouring his back. The man crawled to his colleague in tears. Chief, please save me. The man began to vomit blood, falling unconscious. He's, he's just an ordinary guy. Why did it turn out this way? The man in the suit had a look of fear on his face, from the whole picture. A red-haired man in an orange suit appeared in a black car. Wow, you're alive. An unknown person said, looking at the person near the car. Who, who are you? Looking at the unknown person, the man in the suit asked. A red-haired man was standing with a huge suitcase. Taking out of his suitcase a huge chainsaw, similar to a lawn mower, he stood up in a fighting pose. Choi Jang, Slasher Class B Early B. Ha Sang Su. There are 77,890,000 murders. Early B. This is Slasher Ha Sang Su. Was he hired by the ministry the man with sweat on his face said to himself in disbelief. Maybe that's a good thing. I am Kim Moon Sik, head of the third group of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, save me. The man shouted to the hero. Ha Sang Su ignored the man in the suit and turned around and said. What do you say, sister? The girl with the crossbow on her back answered him. Isn't that amazing? The next moment, they were standing on a black car together, looking at a man in a suit. Zombies talk these days, too, the girl said with displeasure. The man in the suit was frightened by the girl's words and shouted. What does this mean? Ha Sang Su smiled and turned on his saw, answered. I see. The saw began to spin with terrible sounds. Do you, do you know who I am? Realizing that these two wanted to kill him, he screamed in fear. However, the words of some guy did not bother him, and without proceedings Ha Sang Su blew his head off. The zombies turned at the sounds that came from the direction of the black car. Ha Sang Su got the yellow color of his eyes and began to chop left and right the whole crowd of zombies with his saw. Zombies were flying into several pieces, it was already usual for Ha Sang Su. When he finished killing zombies, he slung the saw over his shoulder and told his sister that he had finished cleaning. Coming up to me, I almost gave up resisting the virus. What about the owner of the house? The girl asked. It seems that the transformation into a zombie is almost over. Do you want to blow his head off? Ha Sang Su said. The girl took the saw and told her brother. Wait and see. Coming up to me, the girl looked down at me. He was suppressing his transformation after dealing with all these enemies. He has great willpower. She said to herself. Licking her lips, she smiled. If you make a slasher out of it, you can sell it dearly. The girl's gaze abruptly changed, she looked like a psychopath. Pointing her finger at me, she said. He is mine. If you touch him, I'll cut his salary. Taking the saw from his sister, Ha Sang Su said. Sealing will be a little difficult. The girl at that moment squatted down. I could barely contain the virus, I no longer had the strength, and I stared into the void. Waving her hand in front of my eyes, she tried to bring me to my senses. Boy, can you hear me? I barely looked up in a cold sweat. Boy, do you want to live? But I felt so bad that I saw her very blurry. My eyes were closing. The next moment, bending down and looking at the ground, I began to vomit blood. You have to answer me, the girl changed her tone, and her face took on a more serious look. What? Do I want to live? Can't you see that I'm turning into a zombie? I answered hopelessly. Zombie fighting service. We call ourselves slasher. A girl introduced herself to me. I won't wait long, the red-haired guy was saying. The girl continued her story to me. I also experienced the first wave when I went to the infected area. This is a job that only survivors who have killed more than a hundred zombies can get into. Because of the high income we receive. The government is not very happy about our existence. Listening to this whole story, I looked at the floor. I felt terribly bad. It's predictable, I said. But I'm practically a zombie already. The girl took out some kind of syringe and looking at me, said. Before you turn into a zombie, I can give you medicine. But you'll have to work it out by working as a slasher. 
The girl looked at me with a serious look. I'll ask you again. I looked up and glared at her, what does she want from me? She continued. In this hellish world, will you become our service dog? She asked me a question. Do you want to live? Live? Ka. I didn't have time to finish as blood gushed out of my mouth. Ha Sang Su, strained from this situation and took the syringe with the medicine from his sister. It's too late, what to expect? What kind of stupid question is that? Who in this world wants to die? Looking at his sister, the guy replied. Suddenly, he injected a syringe right into my neck. We can't leave him to die. My eyes were rolling from what had happened. I fell completely unconscious. The girl was looking at her brother. Okay, so be it. She spoke, looking offended at him. There's too much poison in it, what are we going to do? The guy wondered. The girl at that moment took my hand and examined it. The girl clearly didn't like the fact that her brother injected me with a syringe without asking. The medicine costs 500 billion won, are you offering to inject another one? He can't pay us back in his whole life. The guy didn't like the tone with which his sister was talking to him. She was putting him in front of the fact. Blah, blah, and maybe pay off? The guy spoke, looking away. He clearly didn't like the whole situation with me. Anyway, he said, putting his hand in his pocket. In his right hand he had a weapon with which he had recently killed zombies. I was completely unconscious, there was a lot of blood on my face, and my eyes were white. They stood over me and thought what to do. Then Ha Sang Su says we have to save him. And he offered his sister to inject me with a second dose to rid me of a huge amount of poison. For two vaccines, in general, I now owe one Millard one. My eyes finally cracked open after a while. The next moment I sat up abruptly and started coughing wildly all over the neighborhood. Oh, are you awake yet? The voice of the man behind a wheel sounded. It turns out I was in the car and we were going somewhere. It was difficult for me to answer, as I kept coughing. When I felt better, I asked. Who are you? Where am I? Holding my head, I wanted to know what was going on certainly not in a taxi. The driver replied with a chuckle. Up to what point do you remember everything? He asked me with an interested look. I was immediately surprised by his question. Up to what point? I answered the question with a question. Then pictures with memories began to appear in my head, and I began to tell him. The case of this show. Killing zombies. Buying a house. And suddenly, my last memory was of how my veins turned black, and I started turning into a zombie. My eyes opened in panic and I immediately thought. Am I infected? Have I become a zombie? In a panic, questions sounded in my head. I began to examine my body for changes. After all, I finally bought my house, and it turns out that I turned into a zombie. Suddenly I screamed in panic, looking at the tablet in front of me, which was hanging on the front seat of the car. What? Am I still human? I asked out loud when I saw my reflection. I cooled down a bit, not understanding what was going on. Hmm, apparently you haven't lost your memory. Remember that gray-haired lady? The driver asked with a grin, he definitely already understood everything, and about my condition, and about my memories, and about what happened to me. Do you want to live? A question popped up in my head. The question is from the very girl the driver was talking about. Was she wearing a gas mask? I remember for sure that I got infected in my house. In a panic, I began to remember the details, holding on to my head. Suddenly the driver pointed his finger and said. Touch the tablet, watch the video. There will be answers to the main questions. And I'll focus on driving. He finished and we got a view of the road where the zombies were walking, we were behind the wall. Suddenly, one of the zombies saw our car and growled. The driver immediately pulled the steering wheel to the side to avoid him. Everything happened like in the afterburner, we drifted left and right, driving around all the zombies on the road. With each maneuver, I was also thrown from side to side, but I still did not give up and tried to click on the tablet. Finally I got it and I poked at the screen. Hi. I'm glad you included this video. At the moment I am an instructor. Suddenly the girl with the gray hair started talking. I immediately thought. Hey. What other instructor? What the hell is going on here? Meanwhile, the video kept going. So, I am an instructor of the slasher team. Slashers are specialized people who work mainly with zombies. They clear territories, search for lost items, kill zombies and much more. The main question. Why do slashers exist if the government has its own soldiers? The answer is simple. Lack of cash payment. The government is greedy. During the zombie apocalypse, a huge amount of money was spent on the production of ammunition for arming soldiers. 
they are running out of equipment, gunpowder and ammunition. At the moment, there are not enough supplies to kill zombies that pass through the wall. That's why the government decided to arrange a shore in order to get rid of the cost of feeding people. Fewer people means less money for food expenses, but what if people also kill zombies for free? Slashers are students working off their huge debts to the government. Listening to this whole monologue, my face became more and more distorted. Hey. What is she even talking about? Trash. But still I kept listening to the girl on the video. You can say, why should I join slashers if I don't want to? I'll answer, some uncle said that you owed him a lot. My face contorted in rage. What? Oh. I yelled indignantly. The girl suddenly hit the board from behind her. And if you say that you don't owe, you'll be in trouble. With a smile of a maniac, she said and calmed down and continued. Now you need to pay for the medicine that made you human. The price of this medicine exceeds the usual one million times since it was developed in a secret way. South Dakota Pharma is a cure for the Zomvex mutation. It costs 500 billion for an amp owl. About 23% is charged additionally for installments. 115 trillion will need to be paid. And until you pay, you will be a member of the slasher team. You have no other choice. You are our new slave. Suddenly the video ended and my surprised face appeared on the screen. So, did you look? Now can I tell you about the current situation? The driver turned to me with a question. He turned out to be none other than. Choi and Jang, Mr. Choi, personal driver, murders. 1712. Suddenly, I unbuckled the seat belt on my belt and said. What nonsense is this? Stop the car, I want to get out. The driver immediately warned before stopping the car. You should look out the window. Finally, looking back, I saw a dead city, we were driving behind the wall. The next moment, the driver announced my task. Your mission is to go deep into the street and get a hard drive. I'm not going to help you, so take the radio, tell me how you get to it. I don't think you'd want to buy a house with a zombie-infested courtyard. If you want to go back to Busan, do what they say. He finished and all I could do was look at him angrily. There was a shovel lying next to me, apparently they saw how I killed all those zombies with it, so they decided not to change my weapon. Kill the zombies and get the disc. This was my assignment and I was already standing outside, fully equipped. The zombies did not take long to wait, a huge crowd was already walking in my direction. Uh, what? My face immediately distorted, I was disgusted to see them. I hated zombies, so I hid behind a wall. But more than anything, I hated being poor, so I got out from behind the wall in order to kill zombies. You're our slave now. I remembered the words of the girl with gray hair. What an absurd situation. I examined the walkie-talkie in my hands. But what could I do? The world always puts the weak before a choice. We are transferred to the main office of Choi and Jang. Please keep me posted. It was the same girl with gray hair who was also the girl who saved me during the outing. At the moment, he seems upset, but went to do the task. The driver of the car who brought me to the place of the assignment answered. Ah, thank you. Don't forget about the disc. Bye bye. How are things going? Suddenly, a mulatto subordinate of the director asked and continued, looking at her mistress. He hasn't even fully recovered yet, and he's already on a mission? The director examined her nails, which she painted and answered. He will succeed, I believe in his spirit of the hound. And if not, what will you do? The mulatto asked and we were transferred to me, where the crowd of zombies was already so close that it was necessary to react quickly. Taking out my shovel, I screamed. Well, shall we dance, guys? It's hard to even imagine that he will not cope. Five trillion one. The director of the company finished, answering the mulatto. Let's dance. I shouted, ready to repel the zombie attack. My eyes were already glowing with rage. In order not to wait for the zombies to catch up with me, I jumped in their direction. The undead even stopped, looking at my lunge. With each landing on the ground, I quickly killed several zombies and jumped further again, thus moving forward. Suddenly, during my flight, one of the zombies grabbed my leg. I didn't lose my head and made a turntable with my second leg, like some mixed martial arts fighter. There was a sound of impact, and my soul was imprinted on the dead man's face. Thanks to this, I was able to fly up into the air again, only to land behind another zombie the next moment. Another blow and I flew into the zombie's back from two, pushing him into the others. I was able to knock some zombies to the ground. However, it didn't kill them and they started getting to their feet, glaring at me. Without waiting for them to rise, I split the face of one of them with my shovel. While I was doing this, another zombie was already behind me. 
he was healthy, apparently the man was a bodybuilder in the past, but my reaction was enough to react to him. Gathering all my strength and thanks to the torque, I prepared for the impact. A strong blow and the dead man's face distorted, becoming flatter from the shovel. He flew the other way from me without grabbing me. Suddenly, at my feet, one of the zombies was torn into two parts, legs in one side, torso in the other. There was just one moment, the torso was still moving. Another strong blow and the zombie's head fell away from the torso. I stood over a pile of corpses, greedily absorbing the air. Meanwhile, a drone was flying over the place of my massacre, which was filming everything on camera. On a large monitor, in front of the girl, the director of the company whose slave I became, the place of my slaughter was displayed. I was sure he would succeed. Just look at how he dealt with the zombies. Drinking a glass of wine, the girl spoke with a smile on her face. Great angle, boss. The driver was talking on the radio. Not bad. Don't forget to record a commercial based on this video. For the successful debut of our newcomer. The director finished talking on the phone and clicked her glass with the monitor in front of her. At the same time, I continued to finish off the recumbent zombies with my shovel, complaining about life. It's just amazing. How can a person pay off a debt of 5 trillion? In fact, it may seem that I resigned myself to the debt and started paying it, but. First zombies, then poverty, government, and now debt. Am I still dreaming? No, I'm definitely still sleeping. Clenching my teeth harder, I got very angry. With the next blow, I just smeared the zombie on the ground, screaming. Take a break, everyone. I'm sick of it. Seriously, it's like the whole world has come together on me. At that moment, I was unbearably angry, and in order to cope with my feelings, I had only one thing to do take out my discontent on the zombies. I can't just take back 5 trillion. I'll have to be a slave all my life. We need to find some psycho who will agree to kill her. The problem is how to get back to Busan. If I pretend to be a good listener, maybe he will take me to Busan. I thought for a long time about my future actions, after which I picked up the walkie-talkie, on which the address I needed was written. Having gone to the address, I continued to think and complain about what was happening. I hate that already. But it would be better to work for a long time faster. It was still the middle of the night outside. Since we were behind the wall, the buildings around us were already battered by time, not receiving proper attention from the human race. Windows are broken, cracks on the walls, who knows how many more of these buildings are left before they fall. I continued to destroy the zombies around, but only those that hindered me on the way to the right place. Finally, I was at the right entrance. The drone was still flying over me and recording all my actions. This drone was controlled by the driver of the car, who brought me here. He was sitting in the car, with a joystick in his hands, and a laptop on his lap, on which a live broadcast was being conducted. What a cool shot. It is necessary to write it down. Noticed a driver. After that, he put everything aside and lay down on the seat, starting to think. Hey, there are such guys. Talented guys who kill zombies, like clicking seeds. Endowed with good physical strength, endurance and intelligence. Such people are needed in slashers. Suddenly, he looked at the photo of his daughter on the phone, speaking out loud. Dad should become the same so that his daughter is happy. Yes, my princess? Suddenly, the driver's attention was attracted by something that was flying towards him at great speed. The man did not lose his head and immediately reached for his weapon. Fully concentrating, he prepared for battle. But at the next moment, an ordinary piece of meat clung to the car window, which surprised the driver. Going outside, he put the meat on the hood of the car and began to inspect it. Clean cuts, as if recently cut off, it seems that they were not zombies. This is the work of a man. Suddenly the driver realized. And the next moment, his attention focused on the roof of the nearest house, where there was a man who apparently tried to hide, realizing that he was noticed. What was that? The driver asked in a voice and heard something start to peel. It turned out to be a phone that was inside the meat, it had a timer on it, and it was already showing zeros. The man suddenly began to realize what was happening. Cell phone. He shouted, but the next moment he turned around. Behind him, a crowd of zombies was already growling and moving towards him. The trap. He said with a heavy sigh. The trap. Literally at this moment I said, continuing. And where can I find the right disc? I was standing in the middle of some server room, or maybe it was a disc store, but in any case, it didn't add joy to me. Starting pounding all around, I screamed. Just capets, it's impossible. How the hell am I supposed to find this? 
Half an hour later, I took everything I- Hello, do you hear? I'm going to the place where you dropped me off. Can you answer? Hello. I shouted with all my might, not knowing that the driver was already being eaten by several zombies. At this time, next to the car in which I arrived, there was the same mysterious person who most likely framed the driver. I kept yelling into the driver's radio. Hello. I took the discs. The unknown person turned out to be a man in a full isolation suit who heard my words and said with a snide face. They came here to find the disc. Everything is clear. Maybe take it from him? He wondered, taking out a new piece of meat from the bag. That person was Park Sang Chol. Former Choi and Jang Slasher. Former Class C. The ghost of Park Sang Chol. Kills. 2037. Once he also killed zombies, but then. His work was devalued, and now he turns people into zombies. For revenge. While this man was walking around looking for me, he was remembering the past. Good job, Mr. Ghost. The same headmistress spoke, handing him an envelope with money. When he opened it, he was surprised that there was very little money there, to which he received an answer. There were few orders this month, and since you worked in a group, the amount was distributed among other slashers. Moreover, there were discounts on your services, weren't there? This month, deduct 30% of discounts, taxes, and so on. That's 50 million. The ghost crumpled the money and clenched his teeth, it was obvious that he was angry. Too little. He shouted. The director was unwavering. To begin with, raise your rating. And then ask for more payment. She said confidently and continued when the ghost's fervor subsided. Do a harder job. Next month. With a wink, the director finished more cheerfully. But he never rose above class C. At the current time, he was standing with binoculars and looking for new victims. Naturally, he saw me. Wow, is this the whole order? He was surprised to see how much I was carrying. I eat from garbage cans, but I still don't have enough to live on. Why should he get more than me? The ghost complained about life, holding a new piece of meat with a phone inside. I need to get rid of all the slashers. He shouted and threw a piece of meat in my direction. Raw flesh flew right into my face. When it started to fall, I immediately wondered. Meat? Suddenly, the timer on the phone reached zero, and it started beeping. Literally in the next second, just a huge crowd of zombies ran in my direction, where this crowd came from only God knows. Are you kidding me? How it all pisses me off. I shouted with all my might, looking at the crowd of zombies. At the same time, my face was all smeared with fat from meat. This is already so crazy that I didn't want to do anything at all, but I also want to live, so there is no other choice.